This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. An Arlington man was sentenced to 14 months in federal prison for setting fire to an Islamic Center playground in July 2010. NBCDFW.com reports Henry Clay Glispell pleaded guilty to the ethnically motivated arson of the children's playground at the Dar el Amain Islamic Center in Arlington. Glispell admitted to setting the fire, stealing and damaging mosque property, throwing used cat litter at the mosque, and shouting racial and ethnic slurs at individuals of Arab or Middle Eastern descent at the mosque. The defendant targeted Arab Americans at a mosque where families worship peacefully and children play, said Thomas E. Perez, Assistant Attorney General for the Civil Rights Division, in a press release. The Justice Department is committed to vigorously prosecuting hate crimes against all persons, and incidents of this kind will not be tolerated in our country. Gallispell has been out on bond and was ordered to surrender to prison in late November of this year. A small plane that departed Addison, Texas, crashed around 11.35 Monday morning, killing one person. WFAA.com reports the plane crash landed in the 4,200 block of Plano Parkway near Herbron High School. The wreckage is not on school property, but about 100 yards on the other side of the railroad tracks. Emergency officials said three people were on board. Two people were transported to the hospital, but there was no word on their conditions. The third person reportedly died. Aviation experts reported the plane is a Cirrus SR-22, which is a lightweight plane. It appears the aircraft split in half during the crash. One part of the plane has a parachute attached as a safety device, and it deployed before the crash. The cause of the crash has not been determined. All good things must come to an end, and that includes the State Fair of Texas. According to the Associated Press, organizers say it was a good run this year. The annual event started September 30th and ended October the 23rd. It's estimated that fairgoers spent more than $35 million on food and rides this year. That would be just short of last year's record-setting $37 million. Nearly $4 million was spent on the day Texas and OU faced off at the Cotton Bowl. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.